Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. As you can see, we have here a new package and as always, we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let me grab the Swiss knife. Here is the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage this thing. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, what you see here was included inside the package and we talk here about the Baofeng Mojing VR glasses. This specific model is called the Baofeng Mojing XD. If you recall, I already reviewed in the past the Baofeng Mojing 4, the iPhone version of the Baofeng Mojing 4. This specific model is supposed to fit every type of operating system, whether it's iOS, whether it's Android, Windows, every type of smartphone it doesn't matter as long as the screen size is between 4.7 inches to 6 inches i guess and you can try and fit in size smartphones with a different size screen that is not between 4.7 to 6 inches but i guess that if they tell you that it's between 4.7 inches to 6 inches these are the recommended measurements as for the design and the build quality of the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses, I can tell you that they're quite light, they're made out of plastic, they're very nice to touch, they don't feel cheap at all, I can tell you that I really like the yellow color, I guess they come in different other happy colors, uh, blue and red and whatever, you can look on the internet for that, and they don't have this flipping uh, front panel or anything, they, you just have this part where you're supposed to place your smartphone inside and it makes them very light they weight only 275 grams which makes them one of the lightest vr glasses that i reviewed so far this is how they look from the inside or the back part of those vr glasses you can see that they use sponge it's not like the most amazing sponge in the world but it seems quite convenient and quite nice and padded if it's supposed to be between your head and the VR glasses itself. While testing them, I noticed that you can take off this sponge. It has a Velcro stripe here and over here. I guess when this thing gets uh, stinky and sweaty, you can always wash it and then you can place it back. As for the headband, you can see that it's a simple yet quite elastic strap. It's adjustable uh, here, here and here. And it's uh, attached to the VR glasses in three different places. On the bottom part of the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses you have those two little switches which you can move from side to side and they will allow you to adjust the lenses only from side to side. You can't move the lenses inside and outside. As for the user manual of the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses, well you know that I always urge you to read the user manual in order to make the most out of the device that you purchase and I know that the majority of the people who are gonna buy these VR glasses are not gonna read the user manual and you know that I always do that for you but this time you have a great excuse not to read the user manual because it is in Chinese and even I, which I'm such an educated person, I don't read Chinese. I can tell you that there is a QR code here and there's a QR code here. Let me show you what happens when you scan the QR code. Let's do it together. For that, I need my smartphone. Let's grab the Notorious Galaxy S5 and we open a QR code scanner and we are scanning the QR code. And you can see that it takes me to this link. You can see something in Chinese, I guess it tells you that you can download an application either for Android devices or for iOS operated devices. Let me show you what happens when I choose the Android file. It gives me a warning message not to download this file because if I will do that it might harm my smartphone. I can tell you that I have no intentions to download this application to my smartphone. The reason is not because I'm afraid to download something that I get a warning message. It's just that from my past experience when I did something like that and it began in Chinese so it uh, kept being in Chinese and I don't know how to read Chinese and how to use Chinese applications so there's no reason for me to waste time on that. Instead, what I'm gonna do is to try the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses with my smartphone, but I'm gonna do that with familiar applications that I downloaded from the Google Play Store, and I'm gonna watch some VR and 3D videos from YouTube. There are plenty of those for free and you don't risk yourself. So I'm gonna start with the InMind VR application 
which I really recommend you to get. And I'm gonna place my smartphone, the Notorious Galaxy S5 here. You can see that it's very easy to place and I will get back to you in several hours. Bye for now. Three, two, one, and we're done. Welcome back guys and girls, especially the girls. I tested the Baofeng Mojang XD VR glasses for several hours and here's what I think you should know about them. Although I consider myself as a positive person, let's start with the bad things. These VR glasses, they caused me quite a headache while using them. One reason for that can be the lenses of these VR glasses, maybe they're just not so good. But what I think caused this headache while wearing these VR glasses was the combination of two factors. The first one is that you don't have a QR code for these VR glasses and the second one is that you don't have a adjustments back and forth to the lenses only to the sides. Another problem that I noticed while testing these VR glasses was that when you try to insert your smartphone to the front panel there's lots of pressure on the smartphone screen. This causes that sometimes after you already insert your smartphone, all the definitions of the game, the video, whatever are messed up and you have to take your smartphone again and define everything from the beginning. Another thing about these VR glasses is that they don't have any buttons to control your smartphone when it's placed inside the VR glasses. We know that this is not a deal breaker, but still, if the Google Cardboard uh, VR glasses, which are considered very simple, they do have the magnet to control the smartphone screen, so there's no reason why other VR glasses won't have that. But if you still need a recommendation about a remote controller to these VR glasses, you can always check my YouTube channel original video reviews since I made several video reviews about Bluetooth remote controllers for these VR glasses. As for the VR experience that the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses gives you, I think that it's 50-50. Some of the time I felt like I'm gonna puke and I had a headache and I took them off and I had to rest a bit, but the other times that I tried them I can tell you that I felt like much into the, the game, the application, the movie, the video, so I'm not sure. I guess it's gonna fit some of the people and other people just might hate them. If you ask me, if you're not sure, if you have any concerns about that, just don't get them. For those of you who wear normal glasses, I have some good news for you. You can wear normal glasses while wearing the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses. As for how convenient these VR glasses are, well, I can tell you that they're quite comfortable. I felt a little bit pressure in the nose area, but I adjusted the uh, headband and then everything went okay for me. The field of view that I had with these VR glasses, well, I can tell you that it was quite limited. I wasn't bothered about the black boundaries too much because I didn't notice them, but I felt that because I can't adjust the lenses back and forth, forward, so I was quite close to my smartphone and sometimes this was too much. So if I could take the lenses a bit away from me, and guess, I guess I could have much better uh, field of view, much wider panoramic view, which I didn't have. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, I said what I had to say about the Baofeng Mojing XD VR glasses. If you still have any more questions about these VR glasses, I invite you to comment about this video and I will try to do my best to give you an answer about it. If you want to know what I think about those VR glasses compared to other VR glasses that I reviewed so far, I invite you to check the original video reviews virtual reality glasses ranking which I published on the original video reviews social networks. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Original Video Reviews. And there's the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account, so there are plenty ways for you to follow Original Video Reviews. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.